Hello there, truth seekers. Welcome back to our channel where we unveil the shocking truth behind the glamorous world of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Ladies and gentlemen, gather round for a revelation that might just be the final nail in the coffin for the hideous plot orchestrated by Meghan and her puppet Harry. Today we delve into the royal visit to Sri Lanka, a visit by none other than no-nonsense Princess Anne, who may have just delivered a secret message that signals game over for the Sussexes. But before we move on to any further details, I'd love to thank you for your enormous love and support, and in case you haven't, subscribe to the channel yet guys, what are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button now and don't forget to press the all-important bell icon. Let's get started. So now Princess Anne the hard-working royal is at it again. She has landed in Sri Lanka for a two-day royal visit. What sets this apart, you ask? Well, for starters, she was spotted carrying her own bags as she disembarked the plane, a stark contrast to the extravagant entourages that followed the Sussexes. This visit was a request of the Foreign Office, and it marked Princess Anne's first overseas engagement of 2024. The no-nonsense Princess Royal, accompanied by her husband Timothy Lawrence, is set to undertake various engagements, meet local communities, and interact with faith groups in Colombo, the capital of Sri Lanka. The Royal Tour also includes visits to the city of Kandy in central Sri Lanka and Jaffna on the northern tip. As pictures surface of Anne carrying her own bag, social media erupted with praise for a down-to-earth attitude. Comments flooded in, with one user stating, Princess Anne carries her own bags, I love this, while another commended her as no-nonsense and perfectly capable of managing her own belongings. The couple opted to fly with Sri Lankan Airlines, a choice that drew appreciation from the airline itself, extending a warm welcome to the royal couple on social media. In a caption accompanying pictures of the couple boarding the plane, the airline expressed delight in welcoming Her Royal Highness the Princess Royal on a journey from London to Colombo on a two-day official visit. Now let's draw a sharp contrast between this scene and the hypothetical scenario of Meg and Harry embarking on a similar journey. Imagine them carrying their own bags or boarding a plane without a legion of assistance. The juxtaposition is staggering, highlighting the stark differences in attitude and approach to the royal duties. The commentary on social media didn't stop at praising Princess Anne's simplicity. It delves into a comparison with the Sussexes emphasising the stark contrast in behaviour. One user remarked Meghan and Harry would have an entire entourage carrying their bags and water bottles, underlining the stark disparity. To add fuel to the fire, a commentator chimed in, claiming that Anne had something invaluable to teach the Sussexes. According to the commentator, Anne had never tried to cash in on her status. Push herself into the limelight or overstay her welcome. This is a direct jab at Meghan and Harry, whose actions have been perceived as attempts to leverage their roles, status for personal gain. In conclusion, Anne's visit to Sri Lanka, coupled with her unpretentious demeanour, serves as a powerful statement against the grandiose and attention-seeking behaviour displayed by Meghan and Harry. The juxtaposition is undeniable. One a uh, treasure to the royal family, the other embroiled in a series of controversial choices, overstatements and a seeming disregard for traditions. Meghan could undoubtedly take a few lessons from Anne, who has consistently maintained her dignity, stayed true to her philanthropic legacy and never sought to be something she isn't. The world's watching and the contrast is glaring. You can run but you can't hide, Meghan and Harry. The game might just be over for you. So what do you guys think about this news? Let us know in the comments and we'll see you next time for more royal news and analysis.